Extra lineman in the game playing the tight end position. It sends run to the defense, and that's why you play action. Pass. Good for the first down to Benjamin near the 30. Nine yard pass play to the six foot five target, Kelvin Benjamin, the former Panther. Gonna sell a run fake and come out. Fired the ball right outside to Benjamin. So Taylor, second and two at the four. Taylor up top. And that pass was intended for his, again, big target, the 6'5", Benjamin, but it was well defended. Benjamin was ready for a back shoulder. And Taylor getting hit again. And that's by 6'8", Calais Campbell. He's taking a beating on this series, but still moving on. Out of the eye. Up top. Pass. Benjamin. Flag out on Ramsey. No, I think Maybe that's going Benjamin. the other way. Okay. That's got to be on offense. Ramsey didn't do anything there. We'll see. Maybe they, up. maybe they call it, but usually it's an offense here. Offense. There you go. Number 13. Bring out penalty. First down. What does that change things? Usually they back shoulder, go up, push off, and then throw the back shoulder. You can't push off high. Benjamin, push off with your left hand low. When you push off high up near his face mask or, you know, near his shoulder pads, you can see it clear as day. But if you use your, kind of your forearm low at the hip area, then you can come right back. There's no it. question about that call after seeing that. And have to head first and goal with the one. I, I don't know why you throw it there. Peterman from the gun. Here we go. Pass. Tip. And intercepted by Ramsey to close it out. Jaguars are heading to Pittsburgh. Jalen Ramsey up top. You might be looking at the future best corner in the National Football League. He reads the quarterback, jumps, and he's got height, size, speed, and you see the athleticism. We got to make sure that's a catch for sure, but it looks good there. Look at him. What a play. Make up the ground. What a play. Already, though. Ooh. Oh, we got to see that again. Show this again. This isn't done yet, Bills fans. Hold on. Jacksonville wants to see this end right now. That looks like that it looks hit like a drive. Yeah, that looks, looks like, like it hit, hit the, ground. the ground. Tell Nathan Peterman not to go too far. Here's the angle that might show us for sure. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, that kind of kind of rolled uh, around to put his arm underneath it for a moment then kind of rolled around and it may have all I know is I don't want to be Al moment. River on right now in New York that's what I don't want to be it looks like it moves right there but when you slow it down it looks like his arm is a little bit underneath after Couple review times. the call in the field stands it is an interception Jacksonville's ball first down and that'll do it Heartbreak for the Buffalo fans who for a moment thought they might have another chance to go on the field for a heave or two. I think it's the right call because I think that Al Riveron didn't have enough evidence to overturn it. For us, we didn't have conclusive, did you? No, we, we both were not sure. Yeah, so if you're not sure, you stick with the call. He did it. It's the right play. Unbelievable game. Buffalo unbelievable in the playoffs. Jacksonville going on. And that unbelievable, using that term, Jacksonville defense. And now Sean McDermott wants an explanation. He is fed up with this. He had the call on Kelvin Benjamin taken away up at New England. And he should, and it's tough. I mean, think about how many tough calls were in this game. 